Well, we've been talking about COVID-19 for quite a while and for a number of weeks, but just in recent days, the effects of the virus are really starting to hit home. Local stores are running out of supplies, area universities are preparing to move to online classes rather than face to face and events are being canceled left and right. Well, joining us tonight is Liska Giese, the director of the Eau Claire City County Health Department. Liska, let's you know, kick things right off the bat and clear some rumors. So has anyone in Eau Claire County been tested positive for the virus? There is nobody currently in Eau Claire County that has been tested positive for the virus. There has been testing happening, but we have nobody that is positive right now. Okay. All right, now if somebody does contract the virus, how will they know? What, uh, what symptoms should they be watching for? Yeah. It's difficult because this is a coronavirus, which is similar to a cold virus. Obviously, it's new. Those symptoms, fever, cough, snuff, stuffy nose, may be very similar to what we see this time of year, including with influenza. If people have been in contact with someone that has been tested positive for COVID-19 or been in an area where there is community transmission, then we're concerned about those symptoms. And what should they do if they do experience those symptoms? Where should they go? Yeah, the first thing that they should do is go home if they're sick, if they are working. And then they should really, first of all, make sure that they are paying attention to the fact that it's not just any, those, any symptoms that happen. It's really if you've been in contact with someone with COVID-19 or you're coming from an area where that is prevalent, certainly making a phone call to your provider and talking that through with them is the first step. Um, if you continue to have concerns, they will then make a determination if testing needs to happen. Okay, thanks for that great information, Liska. And please join us tonight at six as we continue this conversation. And at six, we'll dig deeper into what you should and shouldn't be doing today to prepare for that virus. We'll be back in two minutes.